Hi folks, it's the author Anne Cecilia Nurse here. I hope you're all fab uh, and doing really well. Today's earrings are a little bit special. These are penguins. I don't know if you can really see that in this video. Uh, penguins and their little baby penguin. These were a gift from my husband for an anniversary um, some years ago. Uh, penguins are one of my favourite animals and um, I'm pretty sure, I wouldn't swear to it, but I am pretty sure that these are actually uh, coins from the Falkland Islands and uh, they have been like cut out and plated and stuff. And if you know about coins, you can drop me a comment below and tell me if I am right. Either way, they are a lovely pair of earrings and as usual, one of my faves. Um, so if you just joined me for the earrings, that is the earrings segment of this video finished. Um, somebody was asking me about the videos I make and how much time I spend doing them and all of the editing process. To be really honest, there's not a lot of post-processing that goes into my videos. You can probably tell um, because I just want to have these short interactions be the same as if we had stopped for a couple of minutes, a five minute cup of tea or catch up um, and they talked about writing, which, you know, like a, as if this was a face to face Twitter moment um so yeah so i actually have i have a drink with me today i uh, i don't i don't actually drink tea or coffee in the traditional sense i drink herbal tea uh, and i have my burke and hair um mug with me today if you don't know who burke and hair are where have you been living get on to google and find that out um yeah so i have just started last week a little series about writing processes um, from my point of view. I am by no means uh, a renowned expert, but just from my process and uh, from the conversations I do have on Twitter. So recently I got chatting to a fairly new author looking to write their first full length book. Um, lots of questions, as you would. And one of the things we were chatting about was chapter length. And I remember thinking about this in length um, before I started writing my full length, first full length crime novel. And I thought to myself, do all of my chapters need to be the same amount of words? No, actually, now that I say that where I am, that sounds daft, but it isn't daft if you're starting out. Um, you're thinking, do I have to have uniformity? Do I have to have X, Y, and Z for a book to be accepted? When I know that I have read books, I read a bit recently where a chapter was barely a single page before it moved on. Um, so a chapter has to do its job. And that's kind of a glib thing to say because it's like, well, what the heck does that mean, Angela? What are you talking about, woman? Um, well, what I'm talking about is your chapter has to move your reader forward and want them to continue moving forward. It has to have a beginning, middle and end. It has to serve a purpose. So if you're looking at your chapter and go, this whole book would work absolutely fine. If this chapter didn't exist, then that chapter shouldn't exist. Simple as. Or you have to make that chapter more exciting. So every chapter has to impart some information or action or something that moves your story along to the next chapter and the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Uh, and make sure that you your reader wants to continue writing and you've got a progressive story but that doesn't have to be done in a prescribed length so if you have one chapter that is 10 pages long and your next chapter is three pages long that's fine if you naturally write shorter chapters that are maybe three to five pages long also fine i actually am quite a fan of a short chaptered book and i think that comes primarily because uh, I used to read when I commuted or I used to read in little break times. Um, I read before I go to bed. So I like to be able to get to the end of a chapter or get to like two or three chapters written. There's something quite satisfying about that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm a fan of a shorter chapter. So what we were talking about was there are obviously in different genres, different expectations. And that's why reading widely in the genre in which you write is helpful. Um, you probably like that genre anyway, otherwise I'd be curious as to why you're writing in it. But so you probably have already read it a lot, but you haven't absorbed the the question, the answer to the question that you're asking. And typically if you go back and flip through 
the books on your your bookshelves you'll get the answer to that so just a little one today um yeah if you are thinking about writing your first full-length book um good for you what a, an, an achievement to do um well done for having a fabulous idea and committing to it don't worry about your chapter lengths they will be what they need to be so as long as your chapter is doing a job it's doing its job um i hope that helps it's just all five minutes of my thoughts if you have any comments on chapter lengths or any thoughts or any subjects you would like me to cover in future videos then please do drop me in line in the comments if this video has been helpful to you you've liked it um you've enjoyed please hit like and subscribe i really appreciate all your support and have a lovely day i'll see you next time Bye bye